In this video, we're talking about how to use a cross-reference file in Microsoft Excel, and we'll be using VLOOKUP Excel formula. Well, when would you normally get a cross-reference file? Well, sometimes it's because documents have been scanned and Bates numbers from the pages were captured. Sometimes pages were added or removed and the documents have to be renumbered. Oftentimes, it's because somebody screwed up and they left some pages out and they have to be inserted and renumbered. Or sometimes the numbers were legitimately changed. They were numbered from one starting number to another and now we have to update a dat file or some kind of cross-reference file. So let's take a look how we can do that. So here I have a simple dat file loaded into Excel. I have a bag doc number, and doc, bag attach, and attach. And what I want to do is I want to renumber those according to cross-reference file, which is in a different sheet in my Excel. This is sheet two. And I have my old number and the new number that I need to renumber them to. What I'm gonna use is formula called VLOOKUP. It's a little confusing, but I'll try to make it clear for you in this, in this video. Let's go to our sheet one. We're going to go to column F2, and we'll type equals, VLOOKUP, press tab, and the first, first value we need to specify is what is the old number that we want to look up against cross-reference, which is going to be A2. Next, we need to specify uh, what's called table array, and this is where our cross-reference file is stored. The easiest way to do it is after you type a comma, click on sheet two, click on A1, scroll all the way down and select your last column in the last row, holding down shift like so. Once you do that, come back to your formula and put a comma here before you click back to sheet one. Now click back to sheet one. And what we have to specify now is which column in the cross-reference file contains the new value that we want to put here. Uh, Excel automatically added sheet one here. Uh, that's not what we want, so we're going to backspace it and type two because the column we're looking for is the column number two in a second sheet. I will press enter, expand our column, double click here to apply it all the way down and now we have our back doc number converted from the old number to new. Now we need to update our end doc number. And you would think it'd be as easy as copying and pasting the cell, but no, you get zero. The reason why you get zero is Excel tries to adjust references for all the values you've used before and shift them over by one because we shifted the column over by one. But what we don't want to do is we don't want to shift our reference for the cross-reference file. We still want to look at the same row and column numbers. So let's update that. Press F2. And where it says B1, B and C, we're going to change to back to A and B. And we'll press enter. And now we can see that our N number has been updated as well. And you can do same thing for end attach uh, and bag attach fields as well. And now to get rid of the formulas we have here, we're going to copy and paste values. And now we have just the regular numbers here that we've populated based on the cross-reference. And that's how easy it is to use VLOOKUP in Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching.